So my foundation is already done, but I haven't powdered, and that's because I'm going to use a combination of some cream products, just because I feel like it, it's a nice little change and it creates a kind of beautiful glow that I feel I'm always lacking this time of year. So I'm going to just move my hair back, not into the Christmas tree though, and I'm going to use the 17 Instant Glow Cream Bronzer, which looks like this. And basically it's just a kind of... Um, it's not matte, but it's got very, very, very tiny, tiny shimmer particles in it. So I'm just going to use this on my face to kind of warm up my complexion before powdering because then the powder will kind of interfere. And I'm going to use just a flat brush and pick up a small amount of product. You want to kind of use a small amount and then you can always add more if you need it. And I'm going to start kind of on my forehead, blending it in onto my cheek kind of do a slight bit of contouring and down my jawline and you can kind of make this as strong as you want or as light as you want um, but it's nice to kind of just use something a little bit different and you always tend to get um, new makeup around Christmas time so it's nice to kind of play with it so I've kind of got a little glow going on and then I'll just get a little bit more and do that into my cheekbones just to slim them down a little bit and maybe it's more about my forehead a little bit on the nose and just kind of on my cheeks just to give a kind of warm all over glow so once I've done that I'm then going to go in with highlighter and I'm going to use the Benefit High Beam this is just a little miniature and I love using highlighter this time of year because it just helps to add that beautiful kind of glow again and it always looks really lovely in photos so I'm going to get a small amount and just dot three dots onto the tops of my cheekbones now you could just blend this in with your fingers if you wanted to. I like to just use a kind of flat um, foundation brush. This is the Real Techniques um, pointed, I think it's called the, oh, <laughs> I nearly threw it on the floor, the pointed foundation brush. And just to kind of blend that in and it helps to create that lovely glow and then take whatever you've got left kind of under your brow bone and I always like to put a sneaky bit onto the Cupid's bow area because that just helps to kind of get um, <laughs> that beautiful kind of nice glowing full lip appearance which I'm set all of that loveliness in place I'm going to use this and I haven't ever used this before but I've got really high hopes for it and it's the Benefit the Paul Professional um, Anti Shine Pro Powder and this is really really cool I've had it for a couple of days and I've been waiting for this video to use it because I wanted to kind of use it first on camera and it just kind of looks like this and basically you open the lid and it just looks like that and then down here you have a little brush so it's like a little dense kabuki brush so you, I'm going to keep that out and then you open the lid and it has like a little twist um, mechanism and you just open it up so where does it say open open is that way okay so once it's open you just tip a small amount of powder into the lid and that's what it should look like and then you can dip your brush in and Tap, I'll tap off the excess and just start to kind of brush it all over your skin and it'll help to kind of mattify your complexion and just make your makeup last longer and despite the fact that I always like adding a glow to my face I do need to powder because I've just got such oily skin and it just doesn't work if I don't powder and this is nice because you can kind of get into like the small bits and set your concealer and all that kind of thing the brush is really nice quality as well so Put this all over and I will then kind of be able to see how it'll keep my skin mattified throughout the rest of the day but you will hear me do a little update on this because I think it's super cute. Then I'm going to go ahead and do my brows and I like to just keep them very natural as always. I'm going to use a powder today just because I've been using um, pencils a lot lately and I'm going to use the Essence Brow Stylist Kit and I just use the darkest shade on a small angled brush. And just kind of fill in any gaps. I like to keep it again very kind of natural and pretty looking. I don't like to kind of get a very harsh brow look going on. And especially kind of on Christmas Day, if you're wearing this look, you want something that's kind of natural and pretty but still has got that glamorous factor. And I feel like brows aren't really the place to be adding glamour, and you should do that with other makeup products. So then I'm going to move on to eyes, and I'm going to start by priming on my eyes. I'm going to use Max Bare Steady Paint Pot first, and this is just a lovely kind of shimmery champagne colour. I'm going to put this all over my lid, and into my kind of inner tear duct area as well, because it'll just help to kind of brighten everything up and make it look um, kind of more festive. And it's something that I don't usually do unless I'm kind of going for a particular look. 
So once I've got that all over, I'm then going to go ahead and apply my eyeshadow. And my eyeshadow I'm going to use today is by Avon, and it's this little eyeshadow duo that I've had my eye on for ages, and it's in Healthy Glow, and this is what the colours look like. So you can see here, it's just a kind of lovely taupe colour and a sort of cream. I'm going to start with a cream, obviously, um, and I'm going to just with a fluffy brush dust this all over my lid. And it's kind of like a cream shade, but what's so nice about it is it's kind of got soft um, gold particles running through it, so it kind of is really, really pretty and flattering. But at the same time, it kind of does give you that lovely kind of lit from within look, which I think is always really lovely. So I'll apply a couple of coats of this. Well, I don't know if you could class eyeshadow as coats, but just to get a kind of nice shimmery effect going on. And make sure you take it into your kind of inner corner as well just to highlight everything and make it look really lovely so once I've got that applied I'll then go in and use um, a little bit of the darker shade so for the darker shade what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get it on kind of a smaller brush and take it onto the kind of crease of my eye now I like to kind of do it higher up because as I've mentioned I've got a slightly hooded eye and I kind of do an outer V shape, so that's the shape you get. And then with a fluffy brush, I'll just blend all of that in. So you get a kind of really lovely, subtle, smoky eye. And make sure it's really, really blended. And then once you look at it, you can kind of see what else you want. I'm going to take a little bit more of the brown shade and just take that under my lower lash line. Kind of only taking it halfway, just to kind of create a little bit more definition and a little bit on the kind of outer part of my crease. And just slightly blend that a little bit, like so. And then I'm gonna just go ahead and apply a small, small amount of eyeliner just to kind of sharpen the look. This one again is by Avon. I'm not sponsored by Avon. I just um, wanted to try this little kit from my gift guide. It was the Party Essentials kit, I believe. But this is one of their glimmer sticks in black very lovely kind of sharp pointy nib and I'll just kind of stretch my eye and apply a small small amount of this onto the kind of outer corner of my eye and then smudge that in so you get a kind of lovely smoky effect that's very subtle but still adds a small amount of definition. I'm then going to go ahead and apply mascara. I'm going to use the 17 new mascara. I don't believe this is out yet but it's their super lash mascara and it makes your lashes really really long. It's kind of a fibre lash mascara. So I'm going to apply this and do the other eye. And there then is my eyes you. completely done. It's a kind of slightly smultry, smultry, sultry look um, but still very natural and pretty. And now moving on to the lips. Christmas wouldn't be Christmas without a bright red lip and I'm going to use this one by Avon which is just called red it's just this kind of beautiful bright true red color normally I'd use a lip brush I'm gonna try it without a lip brush because that's what I always do at first to see the ease of application so I'm gonna just get this and apply it all over very pigmented And I'm happy with that. It's a very, very kind of glossy red, which is very Christmassy as well. You could kind of blot it because I imagine this type of formula won't stay on for too long, but still, it's a nice thing to kind of um, have and it feels very kind of luxurious on the lips. Then I'm just going to add a touch of blusher. I'm going to use this one by Fashionista and it's the shade Cinnamon. Just something that kind of will brighten up my cheeks a little bit, but not add too much because I feel like with a red lip it might be a little bit much. So just a small amount of blush and that's it. That's my finished go-to kind of Christmas day or Christmas party look. I hope you enjoyed this and if you recreate this look then let me know. Tweet me a picture or tag me in on an Instagram picture or anything like that if you've used this um, tutorial and I will see you all very soon. Bye!